The pleasure of reading a good book is an escape that's been out of reach for Sydney's most vulnerable. Borrowing from a library isn't an option for our city's homeless, but now there's an organisation making a difference, ensuring they don't miss out. Once a week, in the heart of the city, as it's closing down for the night, these volunteers are opening up to Sydney's homeless. With tea and bickies... You like a tea, no milk, no sugar. ...and something for the mind. This is the Footpath Library. You want into racing cars? Found something, Joe? Australian bush racing? Oh. It started with Sarah Garnett giving a few books to people waiting for a food van. Now they hand out two and a half thousand a month. There's no strings attached to this. They can just take them uh, as many books as they like and they don't have to return them. It's anything and everything. Almost all are brand new donations from publishers. The girl with the dragon tattoo is kind of the flavour of the month. Yes, it's, um, well, it's a whole load of the week, you know. Hank's been coming for years. Read everything from photography to the speed of sound. When I was in really bad way. I got picked up um, Albert Einstein's theory of relativity, you know doesn't take Einstein to realise just how important this is. You can focus on you know, your whole attention's on that and you can forget the problem. It's even a lonely night on the streets, so these things are a good thing. Gary's an Australian history buff. A lot of time people, when they talk about the homeless, they could be fit, and that's all they talk about. There's more to it than that. Sarah's seen people pick up and read a book for the first time in their lives. You'll get back tenfold what we put into this. I love seeing people read. As well as this, they've also set up libraries in dozens of refuges and hostels across the city. This idea born on the streets of Sydney has now spread to Melbourne, to Brisbane. There's even been interest from overseas. It's a good story. And one so many hope will never end. And when somebody, you know, holds up a candle to you in your darkest moments... It means someone else cares. It's such a simple thing to do, and yet it brings so much joy to these people. <laughs> Learn more at our website, Paul Kadak, 7 News.